this is part two of how to beat Juan, and Juan has now left me with a board of three pearls, um, three rows, one, three, and one. And this is one of those cases where leaving the board even would leave you at a disadvantage. If I left the board even, I would get rid of the middle row, but that would leave one and one, then one would take one, and I'd be stuck with one. So as you get to the very end, you want to leave it odd. And when you have a, one pearl in each row, an odd number of rows you'll be winning. I'm going to remove this one. You can remove this one. So using the binary trick does not work. Um, I can show you in this document. Do one of these cases. So logically, I left the board with three pearls. Juan has to take one. I take one, and Juan is left with the last one. That's how you would do it with an when you have single pearls and pearls. Let me just minimize minute and we'll go back okay so on turn but this way he has to take one I take one he loses that and we take the last one and we have won the game as you can see the piles get longer and sometimes you even get a fourth maybe even a fifth pile or a fifth row but it's the same procedure you count up how many pearls there are Count four, I count seven. If you write it in binary, on paper, like Excel, so that's seven. And that would be seven, and two more is nine. Have a nine, which is nice. And if this is nine, slant it over. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two is an eight. A four, that's twelve. I have to check. If the board is even, I also like to double check that I'm seven. Okay. So the number of eights is even. I have two eights. Fours is even. I have two fours. Um, the number of twos is not even, and the number of ones is not even. So if I get rid of a two here, I have seven pearls altogether. And if I delete that one, five, and I can delete this one. That works perfectly well. So the one and one here, I leave four pearls on the top, and I have an even number in the um, ones in each of the columns. We're all good to go. So I leave four on the top. So I count four. One, two, three, four. Away they go. One's turn. Starts even. You let one go first. Wasn't paying close enough attention. What did he do? We have, oh, did he just take two? That's all he did. He left me two on the top. So I got one there and delete this. So how do I get it so that the board is even? I'm going to just count that four, six. Okay. So I change the of these because they have to match each other, so I can't touch those. This one is the only one, is the first one from the left that has an odd number in the row. So I'm going to delete that. So that'll give me four pearls to work with and I, I can move around. And so now I have nine here and I need a one in this column to match the one that's here. So I have two, zero, and it'll be two once I hit enter. So I have an number. If I leave 11 in the bottom, that means take away two. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. So I take away the last two. Please count first. Take them away so I don't overclick. And everything's good. He didn't go very far now, did he? He left us two and he left us two, four, five. So there's no eight, but there's a four and a one. And the bottom row didn't change. To leave it even, to tack the largest row. And it looks like to me, so I can get rid of this one. I'm going to have eight to play with. If I put one in the fourth column, that will be even. So if I have two, and five, and seven, I'll be winning. I'll be leaving the game in the kernel. Four. I take away four. 
double check three six seven yes and it's one of those checkers so the formal way of saying this is when you leave yourself in the winning position the other player in the losing position is called leaving the game in the kernel he took one from the top row that one and I put a one in the ones column and I check my board and now I see that I can remove one from a few places uh, I can remove oh no sorry I have an even number of fours and an odd number of twos and ones so the best way for me to solve that from what I can see here is to get rid of this get rid of this one we've only bottom so I'm going to delete that one and delete this one my number of ones are even, and I leave four in the bottom. Two, four, one. Double check the count. Yes. Oh, Juan left me my favorite kind of board. He left me one, and he left me. So how do I attack the bottom? Well, I have nothing to match the four. I have to get rid of it. And so I need a one here and a one here, which leaves me three boards. So three, one, two in the middle, the top. Three, two, one boards are easy to see, but they might be in a different order. It might be two, one, three, three, one, two, and so on. Up. Now this is where it disintegrates. You don't leave the board even at this level. You have to pay attention. One, two, three rows, odd number, take the last two from here. If it's an odd number of rows and you're down to one and a few of them leave one odd number of ones only in this particular instance. If there were five rows of five pearls, he'd be winning. So he takes one, then we take one, the last one. Okay, let's try one more and then we'll move on. So I see I count seven which would be four, two, one. And if that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eight, ten, eleven. And if this is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ah, just a single sixteen bit on. Can you tell where we're going to start? Nothing to match the one in the sixteens column. Very rarely have I don't think I've ever seen a 32 column board. So nothing can match this one. So I'm going to have to get rid of it. And then I just write, leave enough ones in the columns to make the board even. So I'm just going to delete that. And I need a one here to make the eight even. And I need a one here to make the fours even. Now my numbers are even. So I leave 12 in the bottom and I'll check. Yeah, there it is. I'll leave 12 in the bottom. Two, four. 8, 10, 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16. When it gets to be a bigger board, sometimes I don't write the last row. I just write the first two rows and then figure out how I'm going to leave it even from there. He took two away. It left me, he did leave me two, six, eight, nine. He left me nine, so that's an eight. and a one. So the eights are even. The four here is not even. Nothing matches that four. So I need to zero out the four to get, to get rid of it. And, and I need to zero out the ones column. So now I have an even number in each column. And that means I leave two in the top. So I count my two and then remove the column. Hopefully leave us three or one or two. Oh, yep, there's a two, there's a three. So we leave one and we have a three, two, one board. And just to show you again from the notes, here it is, that leave single pearls, an odd number of rows, leave a single pearl in each row. Leave the board even when possible. Leave it in a three, two, one. Okay. And then count out the binary. 
makes the number of ones in each column even 